Hi everyone, this is Selena Krause and welcome to another card video. Uh, for this card, for the card today, I'm featuring a couple sets from Concord at Nine, Rainbow's Turnabout Stamp, along with Barter Days uh, stamp and uh, stamps and dies. So let's get started. I'm using my Misty and I'm using the Turnabout Jig. So I'm positioning that in my Misty, making sure that's in the corner. Next, I will just position my stamp. Uh, there is a um, kind of positioning guide. So you can line up that X uh, with the X that's on the turnabout jig. So that um, that way your uh, stamp is perfectly uh, placed. And then you're just going to match the stamp on top that on that guide sheet. So I'm just removing it from my backing sheet. And besides the turnabout stamp, there's like little sentiments there and a couple more images, little uh, bubbles and a little cloud. So I'm positioning the stamp on top on the guiding uh, sheet there. Just making sure that it's nice and centered and uh, I have per perfect placement. Here you can see that I forgot the cover from that uh, from the stamp the other acetate sheet that came uh, with the stamp so I'm just uh, redoing it again now I already have that stamp is stuck to the guiding the guide so I just left it there and I just center it again onto the turnabout jig next I picked it up with the wind with the door of my misty and next we can move on to making our cards so that uh, now that the stamp is uh, positioned onto our door. I'm using some repositionable adhesive to adhere that uh, white panel onto the jig. Here I realized I need a little bit, um, I'm a little bit rusty when it comes to the, comes to the turnabout stamps. I haven't used one in um, several months. I just collect them instead of using them. So, and now I have that everything placed and let's get started. I'm using few Catherine Puller Designs ink. I'm using Tiara, uh, Tiki Torch. Actually, I'm not using the Tiki Torch. I'm using Tiara, uh, Lime Ricky, uh, All That Jazz and Be Mine. So I'm stamping this a couple times to make sure that I have nice coverage. So you notice like I showed the numbers earlier. So in each corner of the jig, there are numbers. So I'm turning it to the right and I start with the, my upper right corner with the number one. You just keep track of, you don't need to have number one on that corner. Just make sure that you're moving in the same direction and changing those numbers. So I turned that for 90 degrees and now I'm stamping uh, the Lime Ricky. Again, I'm going one more time to make sure that I have nice coverage. Next, I'm turning uh, that for another 90 degrees or I have in the upper right corner, I have number three. I'm cleaning my stamp using the Biggest Fan Studio uh, Stamp Scrubber. And then I'm just going with a dry towel to make sure that I don't, I just have that, the stamp scrubber wet um, with like just plain water. So next I stamp with, um, it's a boy. I, it was not all that jazz. I decided to change uh, the color. I want it to be a little bit lighter blue. And I, next for the fourth layer, I am doing Be Mine. Again, I'm stamping twice to have nice coverage. So now, so now we're done with that. I'm just cleaning my stamp and putting my Misty aside. So that's our background. Next, we're gonna create uh, the sentiment with a brighter day stamp set. And I'm using the cloud dye and the sentiment, sending you sunshine and rainbows. And I'm using my mini Misty to stamp that sentiment. I'm using lighter, a uh, blue cardstock that matches the, it's a boy ink color. I'm stamping with Versamer a couple times and I will emboss it in white. So I have my white embossing powder here. I'm just covering that nicely, shaking off the excess and then just heat setting it. 
So now we have our sentiment and uh, we're going to die cut using the that large cloud die. Also, we're going to uh, die cut a few more elements. So I'm going to die cut the clouds from vellum and glitter white cardstock. I'm going to die cut the sun from yellow, like bright yellow, light yellow, and a um, couple little hearts from pink cardstock. So by magic of YouTube, I have all the elements uh, already die cut here. And now it's time to assemble our card. So I have all the elements together. I'm just positioning to see where I like them to be. And what I ended up layering, you will see in the uh, ending up doing, it's layering the vellum with the glimmer or glitter um, clouds. And I noticed that my pink cardstock was a little bit lighter than uh, the pink on the rainbow. So I decided to use my Picket Fan Studios life changing brushes to add some, to ink blend some Be Mine ink on those so they coordinate with our background. But by no means, um, you can leave it as it is. If you want lighter, it doesn't really matter. I just want it, I want everything to match and coordinate it. Next, I'm using uh, the Nuvo Tonic Shimmer Pen and I'm adding on the sun and on the hearts to a little bit more shimmer and extra kind of more interest and extra touch to our card. I'm just cleaning up my uh, work area. I'm trimming my background panel down to four by five and a quarter. I just trimmed um, eight, and of inch, eight of an inch on each side. Now using foam um, tape, um, I'll adhere that large cloud with the sentiment. And then with little quick adhesive, I will adhere the rest of the elements. So now I'm positioning the sun. I uh, ended up seeing that it kind of interferes with that uh, foam tape on the back and I trimmed it a little bit so it fits nicely. So what I'm doing now, it's adhering the sentiment cloud and next I will adhere to all of the elements that we have left. So I'm starting with the sun, I'm adding some liquid adhesive and I'm using tweezers to position that behind the cloud. Next I'm removing some of the little extra glue I had there but it dries clear so once it's dry it's not noticeable at all. So here uh, I decided to adhere those um, clouds together, the vellum and the glitter ones. So I'm adding some liquid adhesive and I just chopped off a little bit on the side so it fits nicely behind that large cloud. I'm doing the same with the other cloud that's on the other side. Adhering it together, trimming a little bit of the cloud so it fits nicely behind that large cloud and adding it to my card. Next I'll adhere the little hearts and um, I just added liquid adhesive to the large one and then I'll add a tiny bit of foam adhesive on uh, the smaller heart and adhere it onto the panel. Next I'll turn it over and I'm just trimming the excess from those little clouds. Next I'm adding some uh, lacquer pen, clear lacquer pen on the hearts for a little bit extra interest and shine. And to finish it off, I decided to add some clear iridescent rhinestones. So I'm adding three on the bottom right and I will add another three on the top left. So I'm using my fingers. You can use tweezers or jewel pickup tool. It doesn't really matter, whatever works for you the best. So what we have now is just to create our note card and adhere our panel to the note card. So I used four and a quarter by 11 piece of white cardstock. I scored it five and a half and folded it in half. Now I'm using uh, fun foam to adhere that panel onto our note card. And that finishes our card. Thanks for watching today and don't forget to click on the subscribe now button if you want to be updated for any future videos I post on my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Bye!